let me just take you to the journey of self-realization, the truth, and to know that climate crisis is with my responsibility. So I just want all of you to close your eyes for a minute and imagine a nice, beautiful earth, Mother Earth, right in front of you. Right in front of you, the sweet scent of freshness in the air. On the other side, just imagine blue water, the sea, the ocean, but there is light inside. You can see fish in front. Different varieties of aquatic life, aquatic plants. Let's see if you can start. Wake up, guys. Like it's like in this gym. And it's just man made. So now there are different countries coming together to speak about climate for climate conservation. <laughs> Which are MLCs, which are not recyclable at all. 
So you can make ego pets and make use of them as building structures and not find where the end is ego And if you see, these circuits come from the entire waste which is generated. And what happens if you don't do something about it? The organic waste, with the help of the bacteria, helps to create methane, helps to generate methane gas. And this methane gas is part of the greenhouse gas. And it, you will be surprised to know, it is more dangerous than the carbon dioxide. It has got, due to the molecular structure, has got the more capacity to absorb the heat and just hold it throughout for years and years together. Then comes the compost. You can compost anything and everything which is organic. All you have to do is maintain the carbon and the nitrogen balance. And your compost is done. Compost is a black hole and bioenzymes and lumbrical enzymes. So by balancing your uh, carbon and nitrogen content, you will get an excellent compost. It is a matter of, you know, trials which you just go and do, doing and then you get a perfect compost. Imagine, all of this you can do without any fancy infrastructure. You don't even need to spend money to do all these things. Because all the raw material is available at home itself. So if you're taking care of your wet waste, if you're taking care of your dry waste, whatever little waste is going to the landfills, how much are you saving? You can be a contributor to bringing down the global warming to a larger, larger extent. So imagine the earth again, what you started with, what you imagined about. So that is the strength of, you know, segregation of waste. Before I just end up, a few things which I really would like to address to are always by buying, think about the sustainable product. If you have to switch from plastic toothbrush to a wooden toothbrush, do so. But don't throw away whatever plastic things you have at home immediately. Use them till the time you can use it, and after that, you can change your habits. So whenever you have a need to buy something new, buy sustainable. Speak, speak about sustainable. People are not aware. You need to bring awareness to people. Many people are not even aware that plastic is harmful. Many people are not even aware that the so-called paper stuff are not paper stuff, but they are layered with the plastic membrane inside. And they are not recyclable. They are not sustainable. So don't go in for all these green washings. Always Think before you purchase, think before you act, and act also. So I do not believe in just preaching. I also practice whatever I speak about. But if I have to get my voice to a thought of you, I need to preach. And if I need to preach, I need to practice also. So it's good to speak about sustainability. It's good to speak about environmental protection. So I want everyone just practice at least one thing which you purchase. So that is about it for today. Thank you so much for having me.